There are deals on internet service and on long distance, but only one great deal the on guy both. Lives here has got a thing about grass. It's Snow Crop Five Alive. Sixty percent real juice made from five delicious fruits. Fast in any language. The 175 horsepower six-speed Nissan SER3 Spec Five is here. The heavy guns are arriving at Zuccotti Park as well, along with these marchers, representatives from 15 of the major labor unions in America are joining forces with the Occupy. A good Wall marketer Street knows Park. there are profits involved. From Lower Manhattan, I'm George Weinberg for the Christian Post. The magnifying glass of history is starting to focus on the life of late Apple founder Steve Jobs. As the website Jobs. for the Mormon Church of Vows, or the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, first and foremost, we believe Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world and the Son of God. So what Revelations could be wrong? 2218 is what is questionable to evangelical Christians. So it would seem that at least for now, the point of whether Mormons are Christians or not is moot. The results are in. The toxicology reports Amy Winehouse drank herself It was death. November 1st, 2007 that Meredith Kircher was found murdered in her Perugia, Italy apartment, her throat slashed. The 24-year-old Knox did not lose the opportunity to celebrate Halloween. She was beautiful and she was dangerous. Well, maybe not so dangerous, but at least enough for the FBI to want to spend 10 years trying to catch Anna Kunchenko. And Spy videos trailer. show other FBI evidence. A brush pass at a train station. No classified information was ever stolen. Femme Fatale Anna Chapman was arrested, but the scenario may not be worthy of a John Le Carre Hollywood spy thriller. After a U.S.-Russia spy exchange, Anna Koshenko ended up back in Moscow, a lingerie model and corporate spokeswoman. She represents a new breed of Russian spies adapted to the post-Cold War world. From the Christian Post newsroom, I'm George J. Weinbarg. Good morning, it's 41 degrees at 7.40 on this Wednesday, March 3rd. I'm George Weinbart. What's on your mind? I'd like Paula to come and live with me in L.A. Discuss this with her? Or with Sophia? No, I haven't, but I will. Oh, man. You've been gone for five years. You expect Sophia to just turn around and let Paula come live with you out in Los Angeles? Do you think for an instant that Paula's going to want to leave all of her friends behind to come live with you? I just want her to come and check it out for a few weeks, see if she likes it first. You're asking for a lot, buddy. I mean, you're lucky she's here with you now. Listen, I've never missed any financial obligation, child support, never. Yeah, but how about being there for her in life? To watch her grow. I mean, that's a big change for a girl. And you'd have to be a parent for a change. Uh, Pepe, I've got some bad news for you. And I just found out a few days ago myself, but it seems that Pepe doesn't own the rights to his music anymore. I can't keep covering you like this. You know, I've got your back. You know, if anybody ever finds out, both of our asses would be out of there. Which is why nobody's gonna find out. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, you know I gotta go. Yeah, fine by me. So it's an easy on me either. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think it's actually a little too easy on you. It's not fair. You realize what would happen if anybody ever found out about this? It's over, David. <laughs> You got back pretty late last night. I know, I, um, this case is a lot more, it's very complicated. I'm... Is that so? Yeah, but I think we're going to be wrapping it up here soon, hopefully. Well, at least you're busy. Father, you know how much he likes to exaggerate, has given me the impression that things at the firm aren't going so well. Yeah, you know. Father mentioned that there may have to be some cuts if things don't turn around soon. Really? Don't think I'm sorry. I have to get this. So you worked pretty late last night? Yeah, late, but we still managed to get some sleep at home. Huh. Well, that's a change. Oh, too tired for these old nighters, man. So tell me what happened. Actually, she broke it off. No shit. Well, 
Well, I guess we're back to nine to five.